The International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, has expressed concern over the high number of disappeared persons from various regions of the country. The head of the delegation of the Red Cross, Yan Bozon, made this known while speaking to reporters in Abuja, saying that Nigeria has the highest number of missing persons in the world. Bozon urged government to create a database of missing persons in Nigeria to aid proper documentation and assist in their recovery. The ongoing conflict in the northeast of Nigeria continues to have a devastating impact on the people of this country. Nigeria, unfortunately, has the largest number of missing persons ever registered by the International Committee of the Red Cross in Africa. Since the beginning of the conflict in 2009, more than 25,000 persons were reported missing to the International Committee of the Red Cross and the Nigerian Red Cross Society. This includes more than 2,000 cases that were registered after January 2021. The number of missing persons continue to rise every day. I would like to highlight that these figures reveal a very alarming fact that children are particularly more vulnerable than adults to disappearance in Nigeria as the conflict continues raging the country. More than half of the missing person registered by the International Committee of the Red Cross and the Nigerian Red Cross Society in Northeast Nigeria were minors at the time of disappearance. The lack of an official register of database for missing person in Nigeria is only one part of the problem. Numbers, however, do not convey the depth of suffering of the families and does not end their sufferings. The Nigerian government needs to generate the necessary political will and allocate the necessary resources for the establishment of an independent humanitarian national mechanism which puts the family at the center. This mechanism should have a clear legal mandate to search for missing persons and respond to the multifaceted needs of the families in a comprehensive, efficient, and sustainable manner. The issue of missing persons has become increasingly prominent in Nigeria, not only because of the consequences of the conflicts in various parts of the country, but as a result of acts of criminality nationwide, senseless and ruthless killings, and armed hostilities. No part of the country is spared from these phenomena. You would agree with me that our country has been experiencing an unfair share of armed conflict and violence, as well as incidences of crime and criminalities such as kidnapping and abductions. There have been massive records of displacement and separation of families, separation of families which lead to persons being unaccounted for. While some have been killed and maimed, others have been forced to flee from their villages to other places within and outside the country. It is recognition of this right that will have facilitated the establishment of a database of missing persons in Nigeria, which would address the gap that exists in documentation of cases of missing persons and also give families a platform to engage with in addressing cases of their missing loved ones. The Commission has the mandate to inquire into the circumstances that cause an individual's disappearance and has collaborated effectively with the Nigerian Police Force and other agencies for this purpose. In addition, the National Human Rights Commission has the mandate to take initiatives 
that seek to support the government in complying with its human rights obligations. In our effort to prevent disappearance and increase the possibility of identification and return safely of missing persons, or at worst, identification and return of human remains, we are going to develop a database for the missing. And that, that database, we already have some rudiments of it, that we're going to work proactively to accelerate the process of doing an optimal database and then synchronizing it with our existing databases that are relevant so that there will be seamless continuity in updating the database. The third is that we are going to create a reporting person's response line for the program and it's going to cut across the whole country.